Ryder. Koro wanted to check in with you. Drag, I'm working with Vetra to track down prosthetic gel and those other... Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal, and Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. Do you think Cash can handle station politics? Cash can handle anything. Thing is, Spender's a liar and a coward. He was part of the mutiny, I know he was. A lot of people got hurt because of him, on both sides. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for Kesh right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. I have no problems believing that. Yeah, she told me off good. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Cash's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Cash all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable, the works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkrow roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. So about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit. Well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, 
It's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just gonna have to deal with that. So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, <laughs> when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain someones. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos... Well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow. You fight side by side and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and make... When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. Your 
doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to live here, I don't care. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax's my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, the doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. Need somebody to keep the zoo in check. Zoo? You, you calling me an animal rider? Uh, ooh, can I be a mongoose? They're like cool cobra killers. No, wait, how about a crow? Smart, irreverent, obnoxious. That's it. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Kahlo? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that, then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Hey, yeah. Uh, what's shaking? So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drak is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. Have anyone else here with you besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh, you mean like, oh, <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway... You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. 
And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. You know where to find me. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. We'll talk later. I know it. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. I'm picking up something. Getting a scan. on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you collision on this? Collision is imminent. All stop, now! Cat ships, a dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. I'm Ryder, captain of this ship and Pathfinder with the initiative. You'll come with me. Lots navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! <laughs> It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? 
Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. <sighs> Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Av Naleseto. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. Yes. Ha, <laughs> look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? Hey, I'm the ghost. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. <sighs> Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? We come with a spirit of cooperation, and to live in harmony. <laughs> We've heard that before. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. The governor shy handles this. We don't know what he's doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. Why is Paran allowing this? None of the local flora register in my data files. Put that away. It's just a scanner. Put it away. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. Never thought 
You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is... They are bullies. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran. Not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the cat kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant, recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Let me show you what I can do. I won't take one step without your approval. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The Angara learned years ago the perils of messing with vaults. So did the cat, for that matter. We're done here. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amaderav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. No, I will. You really think the Moshe is alive? I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. No promises. I'm here to... I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranchai. 
You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. How may I help you, Pathfinder? Sounded like you and Jal know each other. Our families are related. You sound nothing alike. We have multiple worlds. Our culture is complex. I'd like to know more. Yeah, now trust and maybe you will. What can you tell me about your other worlds? Life on them is hard. The people harder. Every day is a struggle to survive. Why not bring everyone here? We will not abandon any more worlds to the Ket. And Aya cannot support all of us. Thanks for your time, Enro. Of course. Ryder, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. 